Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. Today we are going to have a very very interesting discussion with respect to section 230 from the United States of America. This section 230 has been in news for quite a long time now because there have been repeated demands of repealing or rather regulating section 230, changing the language of section 230 which deals with the regulation of internet. In fact, section 230 is one of the few pointers on which the two political parties or I would say the two political rivals, Republicans and the Democrats are on the same page. So in this video, we're going to understand what exactly is this hue and cry about section 230? What is this section related to? Why do so many lawmakers want to repeal it? And what is the viewpoint of tech giants or the industry over this section 230? And we'll end up with a way forward or what is going to happen next and look at the forecast of section 230 in the US political circles. So let's begin our discussion. But before that, I am your friend Rahul Saigonkar. And if you want to follow me, you can follow me on the ID Rahul Sai Triple to my Facebook, Instagram and Telegram ID is same. If you want to connect with me, if you have any queries, you can directly message me on Instagram. Study IQ has brought a good news for you. We have a smart course for UPSC 2021. It includes both prelims and mains course. For more information, download the app from Google Play Store. Right, let's first talk about the news. See, Trump's social media ban happened very recently. Trump was banned from Twitter as well as Facebook, which has raised the question of tech regulation once again. In fact, Donald Trump has been repeatedly asking for regulation of tech giants, especially the farm companies, that is Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, etc. Right? He has been asking repealing section 230. We'll talk about the section 230 in some time, but from the political perspective, now Donald Trump and Joe Biden are on the same page. They both want to repeal section 230 and in the coming year, 2021, 2022, perhaps section 230 might be diluted or repeal altogether. So let's first look at what exactly is section 230. See, section 230 is related to what? It is related to the Communications and Decency Act and this act was brought in 1996. Now this section 230 of the Communications Decen Decency Act, it regulates online publication and any liability which is connected to that online publications. Now I am going to read the simple bear act of this section 230 from the Communications Decency Act. It states, that no provider or user of an interactive computer service, now here we can think about Facebook, Twitter, etc, etc, shall be treated as a publisher or a speaker of any information provided by another information content provider. Now this might seem a little confusing to you. This is all legal jargon. Let me just put it very simply for you. Now what does the section 230 of the Communications Decency Act does? It simply grants the internet platforms with the immunity for all the content that they post. I would say almost all the content that is posted on them. Now, it is because of this section 230 that Twitter is able to post the tweets that are posted by their users, whatever tweet it may be. Facebook is posting the posts that are put by their users. Many a times you might have seen a lot of abusive posts, etc, etc. And as soon as a complaint goes, then the, then Facebook takes it down. But it has already gone there and Facebook is not liable. It has already been tweeted there and Twitter is not liable for that. The same applies for other companies as well, not just Twitter and Facebook. But try to understand that section 230 gives immunity to all these platforms that someone is posting something on your platform, then you will not be liable, right? So just understand this much. Now, the debate over this section 230 has been brewing for a very long time. In fact, Trump has been a very strong proponent of repealing this section 230. Now, let's look at some of the viewpoints of this section 230. Now, what is the take on this section 230? Now, if we look at the cyber security lawyer, Jeff Kosef. Now, just Jeff Kosef is a very strong supporter of this section 230. In fact, he describes that the 26 words that are written in this section 230, they have in fact created the internet. And if we dilute this, then the, inter then the entire internet might collapse, right? So it's a very, very important section which talks about free speech, which allows free spreading of ideas. If Facebook or Twitter is held liable, they have to regulate each and everything, each and every tweet, each and every post, etc. Is it feasible? That is the question, right? Again, 
Donald Trump, I told you, has been repeatedly calling for Section 230 to be repealed. In fact, in 2019, he claimed that the big tech companies taking power from this Section 230, they are planning to rig the 2020 elections. In 2020, in fact, Donald Trump, in May 2020, Donald Trump signed an executive order where he asked the Federal Communications Commission to propose regulations on the applicability of this particular law, Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Coincidentally, Joe Biden is also a supporter of repealing or rather regulating Section 230. Now, Biden has also called for revoking Section 230 in one of the interviews in New York Times. And when he was giving interview, he enunciated that the New York Times, they cannot write or publish anything that they know is already false. And even if they publish something which is false, they are liable for whatever they have published, right? He said that the New York Times cannot do it, but Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook can do it. Even if something is false, that will be posted on Facebook and it will be there for some time till Facebook takes some action on it. That means Facebook is not liable, but New York Times will be liable. So because of this particular logic, Joe Biden also supports revocation of Section 230. Now let's look at the understanding of Republicans and Democrats on this. I have written here that political unity on at least one issue. On Section 230, both Republicans and Democrats who are political rivals, they, they are on the same platform or the same page. Now, Republicans have their own reason, Democrats have their own reason. Both oppose Section 230 or Regulation of 230, they support Regulation of 230. Now, Republicans accuse that the social media giants, they silence or they stifle conservative voices. This is their reason to oppose Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Whereas Democrats have a different reason. Democrats also oppose Section 230, but Democrats say that they want greater policing of the internet, mainly because they want to tackle extremism, the misuse or the abuse of internet and misinformation, spreading of misinformation. So the reasons are different, but both the political rivals, Republicans and Democrats, they're on the same page with respect to Section 230. Now, this is the understanding of politicians political parties. Now, let's look at what exa exactly the industry is telling on this. Now, if you look at the industry, I would say they are divided or they want a more cautious approach. Now, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook, he has supported that the, need, that the law needs to be reviewed, although he did not provide any details how exactly it should be done, but he did say that the law needs update. Google's Sundar Pichai said that even if any changes come to Section 230, they should be thoughtfully considered, bearing in mind what impact it is going to have over the consumers and the businesses. So a cautious approach towards Section 233 is better. Twitter's Zach Dorsey says that eroding the foundation of Section 230 could ultimately collapse the way we communicate on the internet. So he is against the dilution of Section 230. Now, in general, if you look at the Internet Association, of which all these people are members, Facebook is a member, Google is a member, right? Twitter is a member, all these are members of Internet Association of USA and they are against repealing or weakening of the Section 230 of Communications Decency Act. Now They say that because of the Section 230, Americans feel safe, Americans make decisions with respect to whatever they eat, shop, travel very freely without thinking about anything, without thinking of liability. So. If Section 230 is repealed, then it is going to affect all the Americans also. That means in general, if I have to say, the industry is against repealing of Section 230. Now, even if repealing or some regulation is needed, they do suggest some sort of cautious approach. So what is going to happen next? 2021 is going to be really interesting. Joe Biden has also said that Section 230 must be repealed. So there is going to be a debate around this Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act 1996, which is going to continue for long, even in the Biden presidency. And most likely, since the Democrats and the Republicans are on the same page, we might expect that in 2021 or going forward in 2022, the law is likely to be modified, repealed or maybe modified, but we do not know how exactly it is going to happen. But one thing has to be kept in mind here, if a repeal does happen or some sort of modification does happen, then this repeal or dilution of Section 230 is directly going to conflict with the First Amendment rights, that is freedom of speech and expression of the Americans, which they value very, very highly. 
So this is going to be a very, very interesting development. How exactly the lawmakers are going to bring changes in section 230 by bringing all the stakeholders on the table. This is something that we need to watch out for. If any development comes over this, we will bring it to you as soon as possible on study IQ. That's it from my side on this part of discussion. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe during the pandemic.